What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over the unreleased characters in this game that will be coming out most likely. Yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, you can always leave a like on this video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell notification icon so you get notified when I do post a brand new video here on YouTube. And yeah, let's get right into the video. First things first, how to do this, right? So open up your command prompt, which I'm pretty sure is F7 if you don't put it to your command console key. Then you go up and you type in dump hero names. As you can see, I'll leave all of these command prompts in the description below of this video so you can just copy and paste them. So after you do dump underscore hero underscore names, then you do the hero you want. Basically, you do select hero space hero underscore and the name of the hero. So I'm going to be doing Astro, which is the character I had at the beginning, of course, the cowboy girl. And yeah, so let's go over all of their abilities here. So she's got power keg, place a barrel that explodes when shot or on landing after launched via melee attack or bounce pad has a minimum arm time before it can explode 100 initial explosion damage and arm time is one second. So it's gonna blow. there it goes and it's just going to keep rolling and it should blow up soon. And there it goes. It takes a little bit to blow up, but of course you can just roll it and shoot it. So roll it at somebody and shoot it. So let's see if we can actually put on no cooldowns and roll at this person. See. So yeah, it does a hundred damage. It's pretty insane, right? Oh, so if you do upgrade it though, you get another one, right? So you get a little bigger bar as well so you can you know charge up that faster basically there you go there's another one so you can send that two barrels out it's pretty cool and it takes five seconds to recharge right after you upgrade it you get plus 140 explosion damage of course and then negative 10 cooldown and no arm time so it's really really nice right so that's a really cool power keg ability can you throw it in the sky you can't you can only throw it on the ground and yeah her revolver by the way is her main weapon right so you have 10 shots. It looks like it's pretty powerful. So 41 right there. You get closer 62. Next ability is going to be bounce pad. Bounce pad, drop a bounce pad in the world that sends you and other heroes flying. You will stomp it down on landing, dealing damage to any nearby enemies. Does 220 stomp damage. And it's a spirit power. So you'll get, you know, more spirit power you have. That number will go up. And then you get plus 100% air control. So. Press two, and there you go. You can jump around, you can hold it around for a while, and then as soon as you hit the ground, you do stun somebody and you do all that damage. So as you can see, the jump pad is in the world as well, and it's gonna be on a 35 second cooldown. It just disappeared, so last couple seconds it looks like. But in that time, you can definitely use the bounce pad to your advantage. You can jump down, stun, you can even use it multiple times. So as long as you keep using your same jump pad, then you know, you can just keep stunning them over and over again. It feels a little broken, but you know, it's a it's a really good ability. So if you just keep doing this over and over again, keep shooting and using your one as well, then it's going to be pretty, pretty insane, right? So you can place that down. You can even throw your barrel while you're in the sky and drop it on someone's head as well. The barrels do come out in front of you, which is nice. And then you can literally do that. So this is like a little combo. You can like go off the jump pad. You can throw this at the same time and stun them and throw a barrel and do tons and tons of damage, right? The next ability, Hat Trick. Hat Trick throws out her hat to strike enemies, slowing and revealing them through walls. Ooh. Okay, so that was her hat. So let's turn off the cooldown. What was the cooldown on that? 10 seconds? Okay. So if we go over here, you can literally see them through the wall. Like I said, yeah. That's crazy. That's going to be really good. Yeah, for tracking somebody. So say if you, you know, hit them through the wall, you can track them. You can even throw a barrel really quick and try to shoot around them and pre-fire them. That's going to be really nice. So once you upgrade that, you get 150 damage for spirit. You get plus 50 damage. You get negative 10 second cooldown and also plus 30% movement slow as well. Revealing them through walls. So I don't know if your teammates can see them through walls, but I know you can, obviously. We'll have to find out later on and see if your teammates can see them through walls. Her last ability, which is her ultimate, of course, her spirit lasso. So grab an enemy with your lasso and drag them along behind you. The enemy is stunned and Astro is slowed slightly during the lasso. Hmm. Lasso duration is paused for two seconds during the first usage of a bounce pad. Okay, so. Take them out before they escape. That's what it looks like. That is so cool. So they're right behind you. Got him 
So it is on a 90 second cooldown, of course, which is going to be your ultimate. But while they're behind you, you can just stand still and let your team shoot them, right? If you really want to get some damage in and see if they're like literally one HP, you could alt them and then do it like a 360 and try to hit them. As you can see, I did hit them once. There you go. I hit them again, 32. So you can hit them if they are around you like that. That's pretty funny. Or you could even maybe throw a barrel at your feet and then shoot it. Throw a barrel and try to shoot the barrel and as you can see they'll get damaged behind you it's a pretty interesting ability that they're behind you instead of in front of you it kind of makes it like you know super unique in that aspect at least i kind of like it it's not as easy as just like having them in front of you lassoed right like if you're ultimate so it's really cool that they have it they so make it so they're behind you right instead of in front of you so i like that aspect him. so i can grab two wow that is crazy that's gonna be so insane. So if you can, gr so you can grab another person. I wonder if you can grab three people. They so have out of all these people, only two of them. So yeah, you can still grab two people. That is insane that you can grab two people, and then you can just have your team blow them up and basically combo with your team, right? That is crazy. You can also do like a jump pad as well, like it says, and then you can land on them and stun them as well, which is really really nice. Yeah, overall though. Really, really cool character. I do like Astro. I think this is going to be the character that's going to be coming into the game most likely rather than all the rest that I'm going to be showing on the list. This character is like, I'm pretty sure is most likely going to be in the game very, very soon in the next coming weeks, right? So we're gonna definitely going to be making a guide on her. She's going to be very, very fun to play in, in an actual game, right? So the next character is Mirage, which looks very interesting. And this is your pistol. So you get like a little pistol. It's got a little like a little arrow mechanism to it. It's kind of interesting. So we got tornado as the first ability, 15 second cooldown, and that's when you upgrade it fully, right? Found out any tornado that damages enemies and lifts them up in the air. 180 damage for spirit, 3.5 meter radius, 0 0.6 second lift duration as well. So let's see. The wind will catch them. Oh, that is so fast though. Wow, that is a fast tornado. I wonder if that's going to get nerfed. That'll probably get nerfed. But that is crazy fast. So let's go see how that looks on the enemies. That is crazy fast. Wow, that ability. That is really cool, though. And you can kill him, obviously. He's got a cool voice line. Is everyone okay? Huh. So yeah, that tornado ability is insane. Is you can just keep beginning. knocking people up in the sky. They'll get a 30% movement slow for three seconds. So that's gonna be really nice. And that's why basically you see that little icon on them afterwards, as you can see, movement slow. And also the icon above their head. You get negative 15% cooldown when you upgrade it and plus 120 damage. So that's gonna be insane for clearing minions and farming camps. That's just gonna be nuts. The second ability he's got is fire beetles. The four meter range it looks like. Start launching fire beetles. Each beetle can be launched separately, applying a lifesteal over time to enemies they hit. Once the launch window ends, this ability goes on cooldown. Really? 60 damage for spirit, 80% heal versus heroes and debuff duration four seconds so launch window 15 seconds and so forth 35 second cooldown you get plus two charges plus 40 percent heal versus heroes and plus 40 damage for the upgrades of course so let's see what that looks like here oh that's oh that's cool that is very unique this that is actually very unique so even no cooldowns is not working with us i'm at the wait but that is really really cool so it's a literally yeah it's a literally launching beetle see on an enemy right here so that's going to be burning them so it's going to create some fire damage and also just have some life steal for yourself of course let's do it again let's see if we can kill him with it yeah, that is insane. And it has a little bit of area effect, of course. It has that it has that four meters of area effect. So you can basically throw it on the ground. It's like a little little grenade, basically. So that's really nice. I like that ability. Next is going to be Whirling Dervish. Become enveloped in a whirlwind, gaining bullet evasion and bonus movement speed. Hmm. 60% bullet evasion chance, plus three meters size second move speed eight seconds duration plus 20 percent bullet evasion chance for the upgrades like negative 18 second cooldown and plus 15 percent weapon damage during whirling dervish so let's see how that looks okay 
Yeah, so they can't really hurt me. Let's go test it on the Guardian. Ah, a little bit. I think it's mostly bullets, though. <laughs> like it says, right? So it's not going to be like the flame, but definitely when you're facing these little mini guys, then it'll yeah, definitely work. So yeah, so really, really cool. It just basically makes it so you have a little tiny bit of shield against bullets. So really nice, as it says, and you get a little bonus movement speed. So really nice. His last ability, which is his ultimate ability, of course, Jin's Reach. So charge up and then launch a projectile that strikes the first enemy hero it hits tethering it to other enemy heroes nearby. Tethered heroes have their movement constrained to each other, have reduced bullet resistance, and suffer a portion of the damage any of the other tethered heroes receive. That's a big one. Okay, so you get negative 40% for bullet resist reduction, 50% damage shared, debuff duration is seven seconds, 17 meter radius, 20% movement slow, and 14 meter tether length, negative 20 second cooldown, plus 20% damage shared, and of course, negative 15% bullet resist reduction for the upgrade. So this is gonna look insane, I think. So what if you just use it by yourself? Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's basically a shot, right? So it looks like you have to hold, can you hold that shot? I think you can. So it's kind of like Great Talon where she can hold one of her abilities at the end and you can do this with some other characters as well. So let's see what happens when I shoot Inferno. So it tethers them as it says, right? So there you go. They're all tethered. They're all debuffed. They're all getting, right now they're all getting their movement constraints. So it's gonna be harder for them to move to each other. So they're all gonna be stuck together, being together, right? Have it reduced the bullet resistance while they are in that and also suffer a portion of the damage any of the other tethered heroes receive. So let's see. Shoot those guys. And as you can see, they're all receiving damage rather than just one guy. That is going to be so insane if you combo that. Let's see. So if you place this right here, you can combo these. Look at that. Do they even get the burn? They don't get the burn. So, so let's see. Let's tether this. Tether that guy. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't get the burn, but as you can see, he's tethered, so he can't run away from the other enemy. So basically, when you're tethered like that, you basically have to move if you're your other teammate. You can't just run away because, as you can see, he can't go anywhere. Then this guy's running around. He cannot go away from the enemy, his teammates, right, that are tethered. So that is insane. Yeah, this character is definitely going to be one of my favorites. Yeah, this character looks really, really fun. I like his abilities. I like his Lord Tornado. I like his ultimate ability. I think it's very, very unique. So what do you guys think about this character? So next is gonna be Wrecker. So Wrecker kind of looks like another guy. Okay, so he has the same gun as Mirage, it looks like, like low key. So that's obviously gonna get changed most likely. Kind of looks similar, but it's like a little alien gun, 10 bullets, of course. Same dash and same everything. So, you know, it'll probably get changed. Let's go over his abilities. His first ability, create a large ball of scrap that can be thrown damaging and stunning anything it hits. The ball takes time to create and you move slower while carrying it. 160 damage. You get a stun, one second stun duration, 10 seconds move speed, and negative 8% cooldown, plus 80 damage and plus four move speed. So he looks really cool actually too. Can't really see his face as much, but looks really cool. So let's get to this first ability. Let's throw it. Okay, so what happens if you don't throw it? So this is gonna be the ball. So obviously the animation is not done yet, but there you go. So it's basically a big ball, right? So can you throw it early? You can't, but you can throw anytime you want. So yeah, you just chuck it at somebody, right? So that's pretty, pretty cool. I actually like it. So it goes through enemies. It looks like they knock them around as well and it stuns them like it says. So it takes a little bit to get it, but can you bounce it off the wall? Let's see. So you can bounce it off the wall. It just doesn't last long enough. So let's see if you can bounce it like that. So it goes really fast on the ground, of course. His next ability is Consume, stuns an enemy trooper or NPC, damaging them while held. A successful kill provides a fire rate bonus and restores a bio blast charge. This bonus stat stacks independently. Hmm. 160 damage for spirit power, fire rate per bonus, 25 of course, and then when you upgrade it, 150 health restored per kill, plus 80 DPS, plus 80 second bonus duration. What it looks like is... So it's basically like an active ability, right? So yeah. Huh. And 
and then you get like a little fire rate. Wow, that's that's very interesting. Do him again. So yeah, you kill him instantly, and then you get a fire rate to shoot the so. I really like that actually. That's actually going to be really, really useful because it's going to be really good for shooting the soul after, for killing a minion really fast. So it's really good for clear and, and farming. And then instantly shoot it. So grab him and then instantly shoot your soul. That's really, really cool. I like that a lot. And is it on a fast cooldown? If I do no cooldowns, let's see. Let's see if I can see what happens to him. Oh, you can't even grab the, You can't grab the guardian, so that's noted. Let's see how long the cooldown is. Ten, so like around 10 seconds when it's upgraded. So 12 seconds when it's upgraded. I feel like it's all right. You know, I feel like it needs to be up a little bit longer, but then again, it would be broken, right? So very cool how they made that though. I do like that ability. Very, very neat. And my gun kind of turns into like a machine gun low key. Let's see. Yeah. My gun literally turns into like a little mini machine gun. Next ability. Bio Blast. So shoots out a blast of consumed remains. Damaging and slowing enemies. Multiple hits increase the slow. 130 damage, spirit damage. Enemy slow per hit, 30%. Plus two charges, plus 55 damage, and plus 20% enemy slow per hit. So let's see how that goes. That's so going to be a good combo, you know, right? right? So you can like do a three, and then, or you can do a one. And then try to throw the three out there as well and slow them. It's really good, really good for clearing waves and clearing camps as well. So that's what that ability looks like. Cool. And last but not least, the ultimate ability, Astral Walk. Launch a flying shadow copy of yourself that you control, teleporting your original body to wherever it lands. A teleport explosion slows enemies and deals damage based on how long you were flying. Interesting. 32 damage for spirit, 8 meter explosion radius. This is all upgraded. The cast delay a little bit, 60%. So let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay. What was that? Hold on. Let's try it again. Am I like flying? I am. <laughs> what? Yo, this is my favorite character out of all of them. I do not care. Oh, so my character's just stunned right there. So yeah, I guess someone can... Yeah, yeah, so so someone can come up and kill me while I'm using my ultimate. But I'm in like a little go-kart, like a little alien go-kart. Oh, this is probably one of my favorites. And the sound is so cool. But as you can see, I'm right there. You see me? <laughs> That's so cool. So let's see let's see how much damage it does again. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Bam. So you get a little bit of a, you know, some damage and you, and you slow them when you run into them. That's really cool though. So if you do need to help, say if you need to get out of here, say if you're like getting damaged light and you get out of here, you just roll over here real quick. You can even roll into it actually, it looks like. Let me see, let me do that again. So yeah, you can even roll into it and then try to get out of there as fast as you can and then dip like that. That is really cool. So there's a trail around you as well. So as you can see, I blow up right here. There is a trail that follows me. So enemies will see where you're going with it. But that's so, so neat. I love that ability, actually. <laughs> that looks so funny. Let's try it one more time. So you can even go up here. Definitely going to get you places that you need to go. That is really cool. I love it. The next character is Nano. She's like a cat lady, I guess. Very interesting. Let's upgrade everything. Perched. So let's upgrade everything. Her gun is like a... Just her hand. Very weird. Reds. She looks really cool, actually. Her first ability is Perch Predator. Send a spirit cat forward that grabs targets in its way. Grabbing a hero will cause an explosion soon after. So also, I just wanted to say that this is probably going to be the end of the more complete characters. And the next are going to be like the super unfinished characters, right? But so far, she got 200 explosion damage, 12 meter explosion radius, plus 4 meter explosion radius negative 12 second cooldown and plus 100 explosion damage so let's see what this does oh that's really cool actually oh that's gonna be so sick so can you do two of them no you can't do two of them but you can try people it literally pulls them away so you can't even get out of it i don't think you literally just get pulled away and exploded and you can grab all of them that is crazy that you can grab all of them like that throw that right through there and grab somebody and then just start shredding them next ability is going to be her two 
Siamese Strike. Leap at a target. Targeting an enemy will cause damage and slow on en nearby enemies. Targeting an ally will have reduced cooldown and recharge time. So let's see. Hmm. So that basically gave the enemy damage and then slow on the enemy. Plus 20% slow movement slow on the enemy. May recast on a new target within 4 seconds. That's interesting. Plus 6 meter radius and 35% damage amplification on victims for 8 seconds. So if you do one and then in 4 seconds it said to do another. I don't know why it's not working. Anyways, that's her ability basically. So next ability is going to be deadly decor. Spawning statue that life steals from a nearby enemy giving health to itself and Kali. Statues are active only when a Calico is nearby. Statues, okay, plus one charges. Victims receive 30% fire rate slow and plus 10 meter radius. 3 DPS and negative 30% heal reduction on victims. So let's see. These are gonna be like little statues. Hmm. Little cat statues. That is funny. That looks that looks scary. So, do these stay up forever? A new era is coming. Statue lifetime, 40 seconds. And they have 300 HP. And they give you life steal, 75% life steal, and 25% life steal non hero. So, non hero is 25%. And they're like a turret. Can you place it up? You can place it on the side, and then you can use your two, which you can leap to a target. So, when you leap to a target. Targeting an ally will have reduced cooldown and recharge times. Looks like I'm stuck in the animation, but. So you leap to him. That is so cool. So I can place a statue. Let's see. No cooldown. How many statues can I place? Okay, so I can have three statues up right now. So that is very interesting, though. I do like the like the turrets. That's really cool. It's like a little statue turret. That's really cool. That you can like place around the map that's gonna be very very useful for like holding off positions and like placing around corners maybe maybe even placing around like in a corner where people can like run away or maybe placing like a cat around the zip lines you know you could even place a cat like up here so say if like this is an enemy zip line you can place a cat right there and just hide it there for 45 seconds and an enemy could come up here and get shot at it get stunned and then you can go after the enemy there's a lot of th possibilities with that it's really cool next ability is going to be queen of shadows negative 30 second cooldown plus one second duration and plus six seconds duration so let's see hmm. okay so everything is just it's just amplified and everything i guess i don't know what it does actually i like this character a lot actually she's very very interesting very unique i love it but the next character is bomber so bomber has literally no abilities other than the number one so all the other abilities literally don't do anything as you can see i'm pressing it he doesn't even have like a gun that is, that's his own he has the dummy gun and a dummy outfit so he does have a roll so they're experimenting with that right a little roll his special jump is kind of different a little bit we got his one so his one is like an exploding charge bomb on you you can throw it as well but i actually can't it won't let me throw it but you do a little charge bomb you can jump up in the sky and then boost yourself up so i'm guessing that's going to stun enemies around you but yeah bomber you know very simple so far very very in early development the next character is going to be slork so slork literally you know his abilities are very straightforward right so you got riptide which is just like a little water thing and i think it's really really cool actually it bounces around and it does water damage as well so as you can see bounces around as soon as i hit them water damage everybody so really really cool right doesn't say anything else other than plus one percent burn duration so it has like a burn duration but it's like water negative eight second cooldown and plus 24 dps and 32 impact damage as well so really really cool and i like how it bounces off the wall pretty neat pretty neat right and he looks he looks funny right he's not even modeled or anything and you get this invisibility thing that keeps happening which is his ultimate apparently i'll get on to that in a second his second ability is chomp negative 11 second cooldown plus 150 percent life steal from chomp damage and plus six second damage health percent so that no looks like for me is no animation but you know well, it's that so it looks like he's probably gonna chomp him up as you can see you're literally look like a fish so Probably gonna put him in his mouth and chop him up, right? His next ability is deep, 
deeps embrace or negative nine second cooldown plus 120 damage absorbing plus 120 burst damage so this is what it looks like so it's a shield so it's a very interesting shield right now obviously but once it's done it probably look really nice you know if you take damage and things like that and it explodes so it's gonna have some bullet resist and maybe some spirit resist and when you get near people yeah. and you and it explodes you do tons of damage so let's see get next to these guys maybe these guys will die yeah they die <laughs> so you do a decent amount of damage when you're next to people his last ability is his ultimate ambush predator plus two second invis sprint speed negative six second fade time and plus three percent invis max health regen so i'm going invisible so i'm fully invisible now so let's go try his ability let's see so press four you can lock on the people there's two people right there and that's all it does <laughs> it's just like a little poof so no one knows what that is yet of course but it looks like it's gonna be like um attaching to other people ability maybe like a line of sight kind of ability as you've seen so very interesting you can mess around with this character as well he looks very funny at the moment when he's really fully not even developed yet in the future can be really cool right and he has a really cool gun at the bottom as you can see kind of when i jump and shoot it's more of like green some green stuff coming out so this character is going to be really really interesting to look at so this is gunslinger the next character so the next character is the gunslinger he looks really really cool actually i'm not gonna lie he's probably gonna rival holiday the other character that we looked at but he's not done at all yet but you know he, he's getting there he's got two revolvers it looks like that do tons of damage tons of damage his ability is going to be rapid fire rocket launcher tenacity and sleep bomb so can't even upgrade them actually and now you got rapid fire so rapid fire is like a lock-on ability so it's like an active and you get close to somebody so you can be pretty decent amount away but you know you lock onto them and then you have a slow movement speed it looks like so can i lock onto them in the sky though let's see i can so you just fall down a little bit slow so that's really cool so next ability rocket launcher i'm guessing a rocket launcher so as you can see there's no animation for it it's literally just like a little rocket that shoots out right now at the moment so he probably you know has like a little rpg or something on his back and he can just switch to it real quick and shoot it out so <laughs> he is super short compared to everybody else they need to make him taller but okay no one knows what his third ability does it's probably most likely just his passive so probably his passive most likely but yeah can you rocket jump as well you can rocket jump so that's gonna be very interesting if you double jump so double jump and you can rocket jump so let's see if we can get anywhere that we're not supposed to maybe we go on these ghouls and try to get up there let's see i doubt it oh my you can get up there hold on you can <laughs> that's gonna be insane once he fully releases if he's like that yeah you even get a boost from not even reaching the rocket so if it even if it's under you like super far away let's see yeah, you still get a boost. So anything that's like upwards, you get a big boost. So I wonder if that's going to stay. We'll see. And then his last ability is going to be Sleep Bomb. Ooh. Okay, so you throw like a big bomb. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yup, they're slept. That is a... What? Wait, they're still... Sl that was a huge sleep. So you can just throw a sleep randomly and hit everybody and they're all slept. Do they wake up from damage? No. Wait, do they? I think they do wake up from damage. Let's see. Let's sleep them. No. Hold on. He's running. He doesn't wake up from damage. I don't think at least. That is crazy. So yeah, it's just a sleep bomb. That is looks nuts though. That area effect though looks insane. So yeah, that was him. That was my boy Gunslinger for what he is right now. He's he's really small though. They, they gotta raise the height on him. <laughs> so the next character is Condense or Candace. I think Condense. But her first ability is Anthem. Plus 75% clip bonus. Plus 4 meter radius. And plus 100% peak fire rate bonus. So it looks like it's a uh, like weird music, right? Okay. So then when you damage somebody, you also get these diamonds. So these diamonds do explode. So if you damage this person a lot, so you can go past 50 if you hit him in the head. 
72, 1,000 damage. That's probably not going to stay. But you can literally instant kill somebody, it looks like. So say if you keep hitting them in the body, you hit some in the head, hit some in the body as well, and they just explode. So that little diamond passive I guess she's got is pretty insane. It really rewards you for hitting your targets. As you can see, and the four damage just kills them. That's crazy. Her second ability is Silence Contrapianus. Whatever. Plus 40% movement slow, plus 4 meter dash distance, and plus 1.5 second debuff duration. So let's see what this does. So you can't shoot. You can use your first ability, but it cancels out. So, huh? Oh, it disarms you, but it gives the other player like a forty percent movement slow, dash distance, debuff duration. So, so you hit somebody. Can you punch? You can punch. But you are disarmed, so that's interesting. So you use that, and then and then you just punch him, I guess. So she's gonna be insane if you just max her punch range out and her punch damage out, her melee. Her next ability is going to be Lullaby, plus 15 second health regen, plus two meter radius, and plus 0 0.8 second linger duration. Let's see how this goes. That's cool. So I wonder if they get slept while they, they do. So if I run into him and if I run out, they get unslept. So I have to be in the, they have to be in my radius of sleeping. But as you can see, I can sleep everybody. That's going to be crazy broken. You literally just are in a team fight, team fight, team fight. And then everybody gets slept. Do they wake up on damage? They do. Okay, they do. So they do wake up on damage, but that is insane. <laughs> oh, people are gonna get so mad. People are gonna get so mad from from Veruca, basically. Imagine Veruca coming up to you and being like, "Sleep." <laughs> so her last ability is Crescendo, negative ten percent bullet resist, plus four percent. Plus four second debuff duration and plus 120 damage. So let's see what this does. Do you stop in motion? That's what it feels like. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, you just stop in motion. So as soon as you start singing, you stop in motion and you give everybody like a debuff. And it deals a lot of damage. So what happens if you shoot somebody with this? Nothing. Negative 10% bullet resist. So it freezes them as well. So I wonder if you damage them a lot. Okay, no. This combo. That is really, really cool though. And then you can do that. So can you combo these? Yeah, they look like they cancel out for the most part. Most of these abilities. But very, very cool. Very interesting actually. It's like a viking mixed with like singing and then... Weird disco music? I don't know. That's a very interesting one. What do you guys think? <laughs> so next, we got Yakuza. So that's an interesting one. That's crazy that they're adding a Yakuza member in this game. Okay. So it looks like we got these abilities. We don't have any other information other than just abilities. So let's upgrade these suckers. So first things first, though, what do his weapons look like? So he doesn't even have a weapon or anything. It's like mostly these projectile things, these balls that are around them. So let's see how much damage they do. Hit hard. Okay. His first ability is going to be shakedown, negative 30% weapon damage, ignore channel slowdown, and plus 67% increased damage share. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's a throw. And then he's just going to debuff them. Okay. Can I shoot? So I couldn't shoot that whole time. I wonder if that's on purpose or just early development. Probably just early development, I can't shoot, but 
So yeah, you get negative 30% weapon damage for them, ignore channel slowdown, and then plus 67% increased damage shared. So it looks like they share damage right here, right? Yeah, so just gonna share damage. Anybody in it, they're gonna get stuck, it looks like, and then they're gonna share damage. Second ability is Hired Muscle, plus 20% of the boss health to the gangster health. Ooh, plus four. This character may be my type of character, though. I kind of like the vibe. Plus 45 gangster DPS and plus one gangster summoned. Gangster summon. Let's see what happens. Cast on self. Let's see what happens. I do that. So they're gonna have bodyguards? Get out of here. Oh, that is badass. Oh, how they last a long time, it looks like. So if I go up to them, they're gonna start shooting? It looks like I have bodyguards. They're just not they're not working right now. So what if I hired muscle? If I can't hire muscle on the, obviously the enemies. So it looks like the bodyguards don't work yet, but I can hire muscle on my teammates. So yeah, my teammate is gonna have bodyguards, as you can see. So that is really, really cool that my teammate can have bodyguards like that. And you can help your teammates out. That is really cool. Next ability is going to be protection racket. Negative 60% weapon recoil. Ooh, negative 60%. Wow. Move speed reduction when shooting. Plus 40% bonus crit damage. And plus 360 bullet shield health. Okay. So cast on self again. So basically you get all those. And then you've got his last ability. is going to be setting sun. Negative 20 second cooldown plus 175 meter range and plus 200 damage at the center. So let's see what this looks like. Let's do it over here. Not done yet, but. Interesting. So it's just like a big explosion. Let's see what happens to him. So it lasts longer. So if no one's in it. Oh no, it lasts the same. Took a little bit. Let's see what these guys. Let's see what happens with these guys. Oh, it's just a big, big area effect damage. Oh, so yeah, he'll be. <laughs> his icon is funny. So yeah, he'll be insane at damaging people that are in, you know, in big fights. You can put on a wall. Looks like. Oh no! It just goes to the ground. So it goes straight to the ground, and that's what it looks like. It's like a big sunbeam, and it looks like it goes in the sky, maybe. It's probably just like early development, obviously, obviously all of this early development, but it looks like it blows up in the sky maybe as well. But really, really cool Yakuza, Yakuza member over here. Very, very cool. I like the hired muscle. That's really cool. The next character is going to be Kali. So it looks like he's like a lizard fisherman monster guy chilling and yeah. So very interesting. All right. What's his primary? It looks like it's that on the ground. Let's see if we can go up here and see it a little bit. See his weapon. The weapon looks similar to the other gun, but it looks like a, like a fishing rod or something kind of weapon. His abilities, uh, blade. I'm not even gonna pronounce it. 30% slow for four seconds on enemies hit. Plus 40 damage and blade gains plus 100% more damage from spirit. Ooh, negative seven second cooldown for each enemy hit by Aklian Low 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 Braid. So. How's this look? You have a boomerang? It's a boomerang? Of course it would be. That is crazy. Can I hit him? <laughs> so every time you hit somebody, it's going to be slow for four seconds on enemies hit. And plus 40 damage and gains plus 100% more damage from spirit. So each enemy hit is going to have less cooldown on it as well. So you have two of them. Last this two bars and it ricochets on people of course it's a boomerang right so so if i hit him oh no it has to be closer so if i hit these guys yeah so it's gonna be way easier to ricochet that it hit three of them there and i killed three of them there that's crazy his next ability is pack hunter plus two second duration 30 percent damage lifesteal for the duration of the pack hunter and plus 40% fire rate. We gotta move. Hmm. Well, it's just like a little buff overall. You get a little duration. You get a little 30% lifesteal for duration of pack hunter. So let's see. 
Delta. You go a little faster. You do shoot super slow, though. Dust Storm is his next ability, plus 30%. Movement slow, plus 40%. Fire rate slow, and negative 10 cooldown, and plus 3 second duration. So, let's see. You throw it. Hmm. How long does that stay? Wow. Okay, so... Plus 30% movement slow, plus 40% fire rate slow as well when you do this. Okay, so it goes through somebody like that. That's really neat. And then it lasts on them for a couple seconds. So, and it, but it still bounces around though. So like, say if it bounces off this wall, and then I can bounce it off this wall onto somebody. That's going to be really broken. Wow. With everything going on in this game, all the abilities, imagine you going in here, say if you're like in this room or something just bouncing that off of that wall constantly and it keeps hitting people can it even wait hold on that's gonna need to get fixed you know he's not even done but that's gonna need to get fixed we already need to fix that there yeah that's not <laughs> okay <laughs> can it don't tell me it can go up the truck wait, wait 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 don't tell me it can go up the side of the truck Okay, I was about to say, but it can go up this. And no, that is, uh, that's a little broken there. Okay. <laughs> his next ability, so that's pretty, that, that ability is pretty insane. So his ultimate ability is going to be Trapper's Delight. So, of course, Trapper, so I'm guessing like a fisherman thing. Enemies hit by the Bolo give 30% lifesteal for 8 seconds, a negative 50 seconds. Cooldown, stun enemies that are immobilized, so... Okay. So it's like a boomerang thing, I guess. And then you stun them and you immobilize them. Wow, they they hit the ground hard. And then you got that ability on that you get and then you got that on them as well, which hit by the bolo give 30% life still for eight seconds. So that's the eight seconds. And then stun enemies that are immobilized, and that's what that is. So he's very interesting. Very interesting. Here. The next unfinished hero is gonna be Thumper. So looks like a mine worker. He's very short as well as the other character. Let's upgrade these. His abilities have no explanation. His gun is going to be a rocket. It's more of like a, I don't know what that is. Like a little pistol, like a little exploding pistol sort of thing. Yeah, it has a little radius, so it's interesting. It does do crits. Is a little cannon, so plus one charges, plus 60 damage, and negative three second charge delay. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. That is really not finished, but let's see what happens. Hmm. You can't. Oh, so it explodes on walls too, like that. Interesting. Okay. It can't go through people for some reason, but not finished at all, right? Can't do damage to multiple people. It can. So it's going to be really good for clearing minions. I wonder what that's going to turn out to be like in the full release of them. Spike Strip is the next ability, plus two second duration, plus three hashtag barbed wire radius label, and <laughs> then plus 30, whatever that is. So, probably damage. So, let's see what this is. That feels like an ultimate. Why did that feel like an ultimate? Hold on, let me try it over here. What? That is insane. That is so unique. Y I'm just like blown away. That is like, I don't know why. I, I just feel that's so unique. Like a barbed wire miner that has that kind of stuff. Like a, like a worker like that that has like tech, like maybe robot technology on him as well throws like barbed wire in front of him and he makes it so people can't get through this area now so if you throw it over here obviously it's gonna damage people so bam they're all damaged until they get out of there they have to get out of the barbed wire area and they're all slowed that is so cool that spite strip that is so nice that's so neat so next ability is badger drone negative one second cooldown and negative one second cooldown so let's see what this looks like can't do it on anything else. Can only do it on enemy, so. You see through the wall? You can. 
So you can see him through the wall. So it looks like that's all we know. <laughs> so it looks like he just does some, lots of damage and you can see through the wall. Okay. Damage over time and see through the wall. Nice, nice. And the last ability is going to be ultimate vortex. No information at all. So you see what happens. He has the same ability as Kali. One of his abilities, right? His ultimate. So that'll get changed, obviously. But I'm guessing it's going to be like a tornado, dirt tornado or something like that. Wait, what? Do you guys... Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Can I... Can I... Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let me add enemies. Imagine this. We're in a team fight. We're fighting. And we got my boy Thumper over here. And we're about to shred, right? We have our ultimate. We have our vortex. Pink. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> like. Bye-bye. I know this is early stages and everything. It's not going to be final anyways. But, like, does it do anything to order? No, but the minions, though. Yes. So it pushes everybody back and it sucks them in. That is insane. That is crazy. That is... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not broken. Wow. That's getting there. But you can just be like, bink. Okay, bye. Uh, have a good one. And then you can just like... Hold the phone. I can combo this. Hold the phone. What does this ability do again? Okay, it explodes. So what does my three do again? My three does the, the siren thing. So I can do siren. I can explode them. I can do my two. Insane. And then I can do my vortex. I can do the, 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 the spike strips into the vortex. That is crazy damage. Damn. And then there's... That must combo or something, because it's not saying it, but it must combo with the with the spike strips maybe, because it like it's like razor wire and you're going through it so fast and getting cut up and you die instantly. Makes sense. So yeah, this character is gonna be insane. Thumper, oh, he's gonna be nasty. Next is Takamak or Tokamak. Don't know what he's supposed to do. He looks very interesting. That little robot. So his firing is this. Looks like it comes out his hand. Oh, he has like a over like a. Like a like a, like a light machine gun sort of like you know how it like recharges back up, you can overheat. That I like that. That is interesting. So you can overheat and basically screw yourself if you overheat by accident. So you don't want to overheat. His first ability is gonna be hot shot plus one charges plus 0 0.5 second channel duration, 16 normal DPS and 0 0.105 normal DPS scale. 48 hot DPS. I guess is when you're just shooting like this. That's the heat and hot scales. So let's see what this does. Mmm, flamethrower. I like. It's not a flamethrower. It's more of like a like a futuristic visual flamethrower, like a fake flamethrower, like a fake fireplace flamethrower. Interesting. Dying stars is the next ability. Plus three minute, plus three meter explosion radius. Negative eight second cooldown. Plus eighty damage. And 0 0.524 damage scale, very specific. So, let's see. Okay, so it's like a leap, dying star. So it's like a leap. Just a leap with damage. I like it. It's going to be good for getting out of giving out jail card. Can you go up there? It looks like you can jump up there. Yeah, if you aim it, like... Yeah, you can aim it above yourself if you want. That's gonna be really nice for attacking people. For like comboing it, you could like. Or you could do this hot. Hot shot, and then leap on them. Hot shot, and then leap on them. If you had a limited cooldowns, right? But yeah, you know. You get to just do it one time. So you can do like hot shot, and then leap on them. And then start shooting. Really cool. Blinding Radiance is third ability, negative 15 second cooldown. Plus 20 bullet invasion trance and plus 24 max DPS. So yeah, you're just taking less damage. It looks like it does damage. Yeah, like right here, like in front of them. Maybe I have to be in line of sight. That's probably what it is. I probably have to be in line of sight of them because as you can see, if I'm not in line of sight of them, I don't damage them. So that's probably what that is. His last ability is his ultimate is pulse cannon. 
negative 0.2 delay between shots plus 50 damage and the damage stake scaling and then negative 50 percent cooldown so let's see what this does it's going to be pulse cannon Here we go. Wow. Okay. It says it says fire with exclamation mark and it's and it's Wait, what? And it's Beep. <laughs> so it looks like you have to lock on, I guess, and then you fire it. Interesting. Okay, so you can lock on, so it doesn't matter. So I can even aim over here and still shoot the guy. Okay, yep, still needs work, of course. And last but not least, Rutter. Ruttiger? Rut Rutger? I don't know how you pronounce his name, but looks like he has like a little P90 on his on his hip. Let's see. Okay, so. Not a P90, I'm more like a like a little sorrowful. He's decent damage. They're all really short. Very funny. That's what he looks like. Okay, okay. His first ability is gonna be a rocket launcher, so. Normal rocket launcher, 80 damage, negative eight cooldown. Same thing as the one of the other characters that had a rocket launcher, so. No animation to it, just a rocket. Cool, cool. His next ability is force field, negative 15 second cooldown, 70 damage, and plus three second duration. Let's see, force field. Hmm, so if they're in the force field, they get negative Huh, maybe they just get damaged. They get pushed out. Oh, that's a weird animation though, but they can't enter my force field. So that's going to be really nice for like eight, like going against Abrams. Maybe he's like punching you a lot. You can just throw this at your feet and then he literally can't be in your force field. That's going to be interesting to play against and play with. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to mess up a lot of scenarios, probably. This is gonna push everybody's character model out of there, but so his next ability is cheat depth plus two second duration, 50% bonus movement speed when cheat death activates, plus 100% bullet life steal when cheat death activates. I'm taking damage, Let's see what happens. Let's see if it's gonna cheat death. It does, and then you can damage somebody. Let's see if we can damage somebody. So yeah, you get tons of HP back. Oh, that's gonna be insane. So you can literally stay alive for a couple seconds and then have that couple seconds of life steal you can get from the enemies. So yeah, it literally cheats death. Let's try it again. So yeah, I can't die. I can't die and then I have to get my health back. So it does go away after a couple seconds, but that's very, very cool. I do like that, but you can't die though. Overall, if you stay in it for too long, but for the most part, you can cheat death a little tiny bit with that passive. That's really nice. And his ultimate is pulse plus 25% movement slow, negative 50 second cooldown, and plus 200 maximum damage. Let's see what this does. Huh. So you give him a movement slow, looks like. And then, uh, yeah, damage. Okay, okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. So it's basically just a AoE with movement slow. So yeah, what do you guys think of the unreleased characters and all of these characters? This is going to be the last one. It's really cool that Valve lets you see these characters and lets you test them out in the game with the console commands. I actually love that they do that because it lets you be more open with the community and to see what Valve has in early development stages and everything like that. I think it's so cool that Valve does that and it's letting us do it, right? They're obviously letting us do it. This isn't like a, you know... Like, oops, they didn't, they forgot to add, they forgot to remove this from the game or anything. This is a, you know, here you go, who cares? If you find the command out, there you go, you can play with the characters, right? So that's really, really neat that we can do this with very, even the very early development characters. And also you can do this with the characters that are going to be coming out soon, apparently. Which, like Astro, which is basically almost done. Sheila's almost done. So, yeah, this is going to be really cool. What do you guys think about these characters? I think they're all really cool and surprisingly they're all very unique. I'm so surprised because other games 
they come out with these characters, these heroes, and they're not that unique. They're a little tiny bit, and then they fall flat on their face after a while of making characters and making heroes, and then they are not unique anymore, right? And I like that each of these characters are doing something unique. They're trying some new things out with each ability and each design of the hero, right? So, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, you can leave a like on this video. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does help me out tremendously and turn on that bell notification icon. So you get notified when I upload a brand new video here on YouTube. And yeah, what do you guys think about these characters? Try them out yourself. I'll leave a console commands in the description below. Have a great day and or night and peace. Incoming.